those at our show are living legends have a trick to perform for one of their friends. Joining us virtually, one of the stars of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Kevin Pollack. Take it away, Penn and Teller. You know, Kevin, uh, doing this show, we've seen a lot of uh, wonderful magicians and uh, seen a lot of wonderful magic. And we've also uh, met some very good friends. We have a friend, one of the really, one of the greatest Spanish magicians named Hondro. And a few months ago, Hondro just sent us a video and said, here's a trick you guys should do. And we watched it, and then he sent us another video showing us how to do it, and we learned it, decided we'd do it for another one of our friends, Kevin. So, Kevin, where the hell are you? I don't see how that's your business. <laughs> <laughs> Just do our stupid little trick and get on with it. Is that right? Yeah, no, I'm in, uh, as far as you know, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to juggle three fruits. I'm going to juggle an orange, a grapefruit, and a lemon. Now, I'm going to juggle an orange, a grapefruit, and a lemon, but if you'd like me to change this grapefruit for a different grapefruit, or this lemon for a different lemon, or this orange for a different orange, I can do that for you. Would you like to change any one of these fruits? I would not. I trust that you've grabbed them purposely. Okay, good. Now, Kevin, you're going to have to pick a number between 1 and 10 inclusive. And I will tell you, Kevin, that most people, the plurality of people, pick 7. So you can pick uh -huh. seven and be like other people, or you can pick one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and be a little more original. What number do you want, Kevin? Ten. Ten. Do you want to change your mind, Kevin? Yes. What do you want to change it to, Kevin? Two. Two. Do you want to change your mind, Kevin? I mean, kind of, but no, I won't. Okay, two. <laughs> now do you want red or black, Kevin? Red. Red. Do you want to change your mind, Kevin? No. Do you want diamonds or hearts, Kevin? Hearts. Hearts. You've picked the two of hearts. Do you want to change your mind, Kevin? I mean, my favorite card in the whole deck is the seven of spades, but you seem to have ruled out the sevens. So I'm going to go with the two of hearts. Two of hearts. <laughs> now do you want lemon, orange, or grapefruit, Kevin? <laughs> orange, please. Orange. We've picked orange. Now, you could have picked the grapefruit or the lemon. You could have picked any one of those three citrus fruit. Now, if you'd picked the lemon, I would have cut the lemon open like so. And you would have seen in that lemon lots of citrus goodness. And if you'd picked the grapefruit, I would have cut the grapefruit in half, and you would have seen nothing but citrus goodness. But you didn't. You picked the orange. And in the orange, there is one card there. Now, Kevin, you could have chosen the grapefruit or the lemon, but instead, uh -huh. you chose the orange. True. Now, you could have picked the seven of spades. I mean, I kind of threw you off it, but you could have picked the seven of spades. You started with a 10, and you changed to a 2. And then you I said did. red, and then you said heart. And I think this might be the two of hearts. Is that what you said there, Kevin? The two it is of what hearts. I said, and I'm so impressed, I'm going to send you a new set of steak knives. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Thanks to Kevin Pollack, thanks to Penn and Teller, and thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night from Las Vegas. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs>